Coach, you guys, the last couple of sets there, y'all right there against New Mexico State. Do you take this game almost just like, as a learning experience for your team and as far as where you want to go and what you eventually want to be? Uh, for sure. You know, we, we really talked about uh, after after set one in the three minutes that we had and then especially in between two and three that we got to leave our bodies a little bit more on the court. I felt like we didn't do that in set one. We were waiting for the ball to roll our way. And we got to start making the ball roll our way and putting pressure on the other side. And I thought we did a much better job of that in set two and an even better job of that in set three. What did you see from New Mexico State? What kind of poses a challenge for them? What, what makes them good? Uh, they're big. <laughs> and the big thing, they have an arm in every rotation. You know, they run a 6-2. They always have a swing, whether it's on the right side or the outside or the middle, the back row. Um, you know, that's that's what makes them dangerous is, you know, they're an arm or two up on us. Right now, and that's the difference in the match. You got Haley Durham, Durham got another record, program record today with the blocks. What what do you what have you seen from her? I know it's your first year here, but what have you seen from her that kind of enabled her to get accomplishments like this? Um, you know, she she's a very experienced volleyball player, very high volleyball IQ, which allows her to put herself in good positions on the block. And, um, I thought she blocked the system really well today. Um, Gwen Murphy's probably as close to an All American as we're going to see in this conference. I mean, she's a tremendous player, and I think Haley got her a couple times and really forced Gwen into hitting her hitting where we wanted her to go. Uh, so sometimes the, the, the work of the middle blocker doesn't show up on the stat sheet as much as it does on the dig sheet. And I thought Haley did a great job today with forcing their middles into where we wanted them to go and then picking up a couple blocks on top of that. Do games like this against teams like New Mexico State kind of show you just how far you all have to go and, and what you eventually want to reach, or, or how do you take it? Of course, you know, they're, they're the top of the whack, and, and that's that's ultimately our goal for this program. And, you know, as, as much as set one was maybe we got a long ways, we turn around and set three, and once we loosen up and we start doing the things that we're capable of, uh, we're not really that far away. Um, I feel like it, we get one or two of our arms in here, and and get a little bit more swing on that second outside position, then we put a lot more pressure on the other side of the court. What did you see from your team in the first half of black play that you think gives you a lot more in the second half? Um, I think we're growing as a team. They're starting to become comfortable with each other. Uh, we've played about, I don't know how many sets we've played, but we've probably played that many different rotations. Uh, so we're, we're still feeling, figuring it out, and we have kids, you know, we're trying to do take bits and pieces at this point and, and putting um, putting the pieces together where they can help us for one or two locations even and that's what this is about and the girls are learning each other and they're getting more comfortable in that. So uh, I think that as we settle down into a, a set rotation into the second half of Wild is going to benefit us. And next up Chicago State and Missouri Kansas City. Um, you know, Chicago State, a, a game that's important for us to go get as far as conference tournament implications go. Uh, we need to go out there and play well. Um, they played well last week against uh, a Seattle team that came in here and beat us up. So we got to go out to Chicago and take care of business. And I thought we were right there with UMKC in every set here and uh, go there and, you know, finish those sets out that we didn't finish here at home. And I think we have a good chance of beating them as well.